Welcome to the Art of Dispute. I am your host, Joe Orsak. And I'm your co-host, Chris Minemeyer. And we agree on pretty much absolutely nothing. nothing. <laughs> America, you are about to witness three total strangers, musicians and artists in a business profession. We brought them together to talk about a really hard subject that they had no clue what it was before they got here. All in the hopes that we can teach you, America, that we can discuss the most controversial topics without being jerks to each other. Imagine that! So stick around, watch the fireworks, because we're about to go live! comment you, you share your thought with the world and it's guaranteed to hack somebody off mm -hmm. they lose their mind it's gonna be me watch out unfriend and they're 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 flame trolling whatever you know all that kind of stuff you've all experienced it we have a term for it we actually created a definition and it's on the screen damn look at that it's on the screen zero to nazi effect that could be done better yeah <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> yeah <laughs> need to change the colors. <laughs> <laughs> the zero to Nazi effect. It's the length of time it takes from the when you post your thought to go from zero to you being called a Nazi. <laughs> the zero to Nazi effect. That person flips out, they lose their mind, they're like, hey, I'm gonna go outside, set fire to your car. <laughs> Take a poop in your front yard. Ah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's always that good. Hey, that's a new one. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Take a poop in your front yard. <laughs> Post old pictures of you in compromised situations. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and report you to the authorities. <laughs> Yeah, it's just people lose their mind, you know, and we're trying Absolutely. to fix it. We're Absolutely. trying to fix it. We laugh like ourselves. We catch, we catch some flat. I Every show we catch flat. flat. I read it on there sometimes. Oh. I'm like, oh my yeah, gosh. People, I, people seem I start think, typing, then I go, no, no, no. People seem to think that people that are the problem can't talk about the problem. Yeah. It, it's like, uh, if you had disagreed with the way I think, why can't I talk about it? So that we can understand and start to come to some type of conclusion behind trying to fix it, right? That's what we're doing. That's what you right. do. You, you know what, Chris? Yeah, shut out. We managed to, to, to get that almost every show, Absolutely. especially any con contentious comment. And I didn't think about it until just now. Literally. Our last show we had on the party. panel, on the panel, who is married? I am. Yep. Been married. All right. So. I've been engaged. Like, yeah. So <laughs> two out of five people are yeah. are married, and we're going to be talking about marriages on the decline. Mm -hmm. So. Not enough we married can't people. Talk about that. Not enough married people on we, the panel. We've done it. Yeah. Like you've done it. You I know, have, I've been married and I'm happily divorced, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, well then, you know, we might actually have a, a diverse panel this, <laughs> this time. This time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just the point though. Uh, just because of the demographic doesn't doesn't mandate the viewpoint. Yeah. The viewpoint's still there. We still have multiple viewpoints being expressed. And if it's not on the show, it's probably in the group. And if it's not on the group, Go to the group and put it on the group because that's what we want. We want diverse opinions so people can learn the truth behind the, the, the facts. We want to know the facts. The more we're talking, yeah. the more we're discussing, the more problems we're solving. That's exactly right. Well, we're going to dive in. We're talking about today marriage. If you haven't already figured that out, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about marriage that's on the decline. It's 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 going down, all right? And is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's what we're going to talk about today. All right. She already said she's happily divorced, so I mean, <laughs> she might be playing her cards right there already for you guys. I'm uh, single too, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to mingle. Ready to mingle. <laughs> uh, before we dive into the topic, we got to make sure we give our shameless plugs. Uh, you know, our guests experience a an exorbitant pay package for being on the show. Uh, Huge. Which is 
all of the drinks that they can have, and uh, yeah, shameless please. plug. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first up, Lenora Palacios. Here, here. Woo! Woo. Yay. <laughs> Artist name, Lenora Palacios. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Website, <laughs> Facebook.com. What should be my mouth? Instagram. Huh? Oh, that was LenoraPlashes.com. Yeah, there you go. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Did you want your Instagram page or the Facebook page? Instagram. Oh, we had the Facebook one. I know. That's why. That's my fault, I think. Okay. <laughs> we can fix it. At least I take the we can fix it. <laughs> Instagram.com. LenPal01. Len, L-E-N. L-E-N-P-A-L-01. There we go. It's on the screen already. Right there. Okay, Look at that. There we go. <laughs> ten bucks. Right there. Squaw! Another ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> One funny thing about Lenora that most people didn't know. My, oh, I, I, I was like, alone. Okay. My middle name is Velma. Yeah. Velma. Yes. And I used to love, like, I used to be like, yeah, yeah. Velma. No, but you I would never tell. not think about Scooby-Doo. Yeah. I would time. never tell anybody, and they'd all be like, Velma. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> You say it. Right, <laughs> right on. Right on. <laughs> so everybody knows now. Yes, now, now the whole world knows, so. <laughs> Very I'll, cool. be, I'll be the uh, Shaggy. Okay, Shaggy. <laughs> 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 Ruby Rack. <laughs> no, Next up, Simon Gomez. Simon Solid Gomez. Yes. That works. My man. Uh, dropping some cool tracks at the end of the show. You guys oh, definitely yeah. got to stick around. Killed Killer song. We already heard him going over a little bit, working on it before he's going to perform yeah. for you guys at the end of the show. So make sure you Can stick around. Yeah, yeah, right on. Uh, Facebook page solid and at uh, and Instagram is at solid artistry. Yes, sir. So yes. at solid artistry. So first time I can find without numbers. There you I go. actually used to paint a little yeah. bit. Yeah, we should paint one day. We should. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right. like yeah. And uh, one yeah. funny thing, one funny thing that most people don't know, I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. Oh, nice. yeah. Yeah. I don't ever get, I don't ever get to play it though because I'm always working on music and Nixon. Yeah. Telling me, go that's, work on your music. Ah, Stop playing Mortal Kombat. That's what happens, bro. That's, you get that's old. What a manager does. That's what happens. You get old. Life kicks in. Next thing you know, you're paying your own electric bill. <laughs> I mean, if I get good enough, I can go to tournaments and then I'll be a millionaire playing the game. So. There's a cool thing yeah, for it. There's a culture for that. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Next up, Veronica Langoria. Hey. Spirit fingers. Yes, yeah, spirit I like fingers. I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> Second time on. What's up? Returning veteran. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two of them. Yeah, yeah. Solid. Simon, yeah. second time as well. Yep. V Rock Studio. Mm -hmm. Love it. And we're going to make sure we have some art on the screen for you. Okay. This time. Both All right. Of them. There's two so, of them, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two today. Yep. First, we have to get art from. Lenora as well. <laughs> so that wasn't sly. Oh man! <laughs> going back in time. Yeah, just hit the button. You know. Lenora will have art on the screen as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like a time traveler. See, I will actually go back in time and put artwork on the screen at the beginning of the show. Yeah, oh, okay. It's good. weird. It's weird. I can explain it. It's a lot of math. Graphics, math. guys. That's who we pay 10 bucks. Physics and Every stuff. Time he does this. You know, That's why he keeps bucks. doing that. Yeah. 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 General relativity, special relativity. It's. It'll be art. So. <laughs> uh, fun one. one uh, wait, I gotta get your websites. Websites uh, Facebook.com is VRock Studios. Uh, and you can just go to VRockStudios.com. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, find me on there. Yep. And Instagram. Follow Instagram. me on Instagram. V Rock Studios. Yep. 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 Uh, one funny thing about Veronica. This is awesome. <laughs> I was attacked by a monkey in Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, uh, now that the tea is out of the bag, that's the one I had to share. Oh, <laughs> well done. And, uh, yeah. you know, a little ass monkey attacked me in Mexico. <laughs> that little. <laughs> little, little, little. It's like. 
ninjutsu <laughs> monkey. Yeah, so I, um, <laughs> there was a, a cage, and I decided to walk into the cage to see what was going on, and it you did were on not his like turn. it. Yeah, you, you weren't wearing came, the right color. It right came now. flying at me on its vine. It threw at least two signs before it attacked, for sure. <laughs> it, it went ham. It went ham, and I started crying. It didn't throw poop at you, did it? Oh, no. no. Oh, well, see, maybe it just liked you. Yeah, it was crazy. It was being like, attacked by a monkey. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 But I'm stronger that's, for that's, it. Stronger for it now. I am. I know how to defend myself against the monkey. Yeah. That's freaking great. That's a, that's a great comment. All right, so, guys. I like this. Marriage is on the climb. Good or bad, what is your thoughts? Ooh, that was a good question. What they're gonna say. I'll stick around and find out. We'll be right back. Guys, and like this. marriage is on the climb. Good or bad, what is your thoughts? Let's go down the line, just kind of give me your bullet point, one minute kind of uh, idea on it. Where are you at? Well, I think it's bad because I think we need traditional marriage still in, in our country. In the world, actually, you know, because... A woman in the Having kitchen values. cooking where no, she belongs. No, not, not oh. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Slap him. No. Yeah. 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 I've, you know, I've developed a disclaimer. Just <laughs> no, I mean, you just say in the sense of a man being married, you know, you know, I have to say, even no matter what kind of marriage it is, just marriage. I don't care Team if up. it's, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't care if it's a partnership, a partnership. Yeah. I don't care what, yeah. just traditional marriage. It doesn't matter who it is. Families are important and that's all part of it. Mm. So, and you know, now in this day and time, we have to think of marriage, even if it's two men, two women, a man, Inclusive. a woman, yeah. whatever, that's going to be part of our tradition now. It's the law of the land. Absolutely. That's what we do. So, I mean, yeah, it's all important. Simon. It's good that marriage is on a decline because I don't. It makes it less taboo, like I was saying earlier. So, well, when we were talking and discussing things, before the show, yeah, yes, before please explain the, what we were the saying. The interrogation earlier. room. That's what it is. The interrogation yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, we're gonna oh, not call yes. it the green room. No. We're That's totally calling it the interrogation room. I'm probably gonna go put a bunch of fluffy items in there so people don't think that. <laughs> yeah. The it's good that it's on the decline, though, because it gives people the ability to walk away from something that doesn't make them happy anymore. And I, I, me personally, I don't understand why it's okay to put up with somebody just to hold the sake of, I guess, the sacred bond that marriage is, to hold it together if you're not happy. I don't know if y'all agree with that. But. Oh, I hate everything you said. Yeah. I mean, I'm you're never going to be happy we, all the time. Before, before, yeah, okay, right. sorry. Yeah, you're, you're, you're yes. Before we go into it, uh, you're, yeah, good, okay. you're good. You're good. So I think it's both a good and a bad thing. I understand the traditional values of marriage and commitment. It's all important, family values. But at the same time, um, I feel like there's a lot of people who are pressured into getting married, into like that's their life goal is let me mm. find a husband or let me find a wife. And it's okay if that's not your life goal anymore. Thanks, and it's, my you know, mom, she sure don't let me feel like it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's okay. 
like you. When are you going to stop being less of a son and uh, get married? You're the oldest. There's so, there was, well, there's so much pressure. Right? Yeah. Exactly. There's pressure. Get married. And then as soon as you get married, when are their kids coming? Uh-huh. And, you know, there's just, you know, let's alleviate there's some of that. There's timetables. Right. And let's, you know. I'm, okay, right. I'm in a rush right. to be a grandparent. Exactly. <laughs> and marriage, it kind of, I'm really you know, not. <laughs> it ties you down a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, so I think it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hey, I, I get that. Um, I, I would say for the uh, the two people on the panel, so I'm, I'm y'all are married ones. I, I, I'm married, <laughs> and uh, 25 years in with the same gal. Um, but that aside, I, I, I certainly have a degree of bias, uh, but I've also studied what it means to uh, like the, the there's a great book called The Millionaire Next Door. And it's a whole study on millionaires in America and all of their demographics and psychographics. Right? And it's way different than what Hollywood would portray it to be. Mm-hmm. Ooh, One consistent cycle. thing across the board, though, with millionaires is that they were all in a long-term relationship, marriage, a vast really? majority, 96%. Yeah. Uh, and the oh. average age was 13 years or more. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a yeah. fan, fascinating. Well, that's and, your, uh, and because divorce Jeff? is one of the most financially damaging things that you can experience. And emotionally. Cert- certainly. Oh God. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All the beeps. <laughs> All the beeps. That's I got, I got one this show already too, so it's all good. All the beeps like have been brought to you by Veronica. Beep Rock. Beep Rock. Beep Rock Studios. Beep Rock. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, from that aspect, there is a lot of data to argue that the there's an advantage to being married. There is. There is. There is. To the right person, though. That's correct. But who the hell is the right person? <laughs> yeah. Like it. There is a so, right person. You think? Nah. <laughs> 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 there ain't no right person. Mm. Y'all crazy out there. But is there really? <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I will kind of challenge y'all on that. Um, Marriage is a business. Deal. Oh, certainly. Absolutely. Well, it's a business made, made deal. So, sorry, it's a yeah. business deal. Yeah. So, it, look, look, I mean, are we talking about yeah. 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 The, it's, their it's government came anymore. in and sideswiped them on that one, and they're like, oh, we're going to take right. over this racket. Uh, I don't think it's I don't not think about love. It's not. Let's just it be is real. About love. No, it's not. Yeah. It if, is if, about you're, love. if 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 that Tyler. person could, oh have, <laughs> as a woman, right? If that person couldn't provide, if that person couldn't bring to you what you feel you need, I don't to need anybody to provide them. for me. Okay, but you okay? But if he was a loser, I would not provide a loser. for you. Exactly. So it's a business proposition. You have to bring somebody who's going to bring you up. It, if they don't bring you up, you can't not bring anything to the table. Yeah, you have I mean to that's bring something to the table. They're, they're, yeah, well, of I, it's not necessarily money. just money. That's just yeah, I mean, like, money, support, yeah. like happiness. Or, I, 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 mean, happiness. I think that's what it's about for me. More. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, but I also don't have many bills to pay right now because I'm only. Well, you know, but so. I can support myself. But when it comes down to that, like when I'm at home and I'm lonely and I have, you know, and I'm like, oh, I just want somebody to just. Be with for you know mm-hmm. like that person that it, human yeah, connection that human connection that I come home to and I have yeah. dinner with and I'm not having to you know find a date or go out and just have be awkward and somebody that's you know someone that's real like that's yeah. that's what the marriage part would be for me and it is really a business relationship because it really it's my is. business of my emotions like you know what I mean like I'm I want those to be there's like, certainly a financial component to it absolutely right? absolutely so I'll 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 say that I believe and I think there's good scientific data for this. Uh, that the average man is wired to want to provide. Absolutely, uh, I think so. We 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 were out, you know, hunting. Where they at? Uh, huh? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? <laughs> There's some around. Look at that. Right here. <laughs> There's some around. I know. Uh, I know where they're at. Sorry. And generally, generally, these are not. I'm not saying this is a hard fact, like everybody's this way, but just as a stereotype, yeah. right? And that the average woman is wired to want to nurture, 
that's that's a general reality okay. of, yeah. of, of both sides. And so, consequently, there is a business transaction that happens, so to speak. Absolutely. Uh, in that there's there's emotional support, right? Right. Yeah. There's there's different aspects that are brought to the table. Uh, yeah. I think part of the problem where so marriage just, got in trouble <laughs> is in recognizing the value of both sides. I think that's one of the big flaws for men is that they looked at dollars brought in and said this is more valuable than the emotional support and the nurturing support that is the wife. Oh, yeah. And the role of the, the, the caretaker. Oh, please, Lord, it's hard out I, I have a <laughs> <laughs> So we've already got to take a hard break. Uh, but before we go, I want to I ask you guys or challenge you guys to, to think about why is marriage on the decline? We've, we've kind of been ad ad addressing good or bad, right? But what do you think is at the root of it? And, right before we get back, though. And we'll, we'll address that when we come back for the break. <laughs> All right. Do you have a sick roof? Well, DR Roofing Services can help. We will examine your roof, diagnose the problem, and prescribe a solution. Does your home need a facelift? DR Roofing Services offers a variety of general contracting services to get your home happy and healthy again. Honest, reliable, and trustworthy. DR Roofing Services. We make house calls. The Art of Dispute and all other artists recorded by Maddox Studios. By artists, for artists. Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to the Art of Woo! We've been having a lot of fun off air, this topic. You know, the fun thing about the show is that the topic doesn't stop even though we take a break. <laughs> so try. while I try. while you guys see like a minute commercial, there's really like an hour going on. <laughs> After the nap. Yeah, just <laughs> I went out to the car and I slept. <laughs> <laughs> so we've, we've had a lot of fun discussions going on here. Before the break, I asked a question for you guys. I said... Uh, marriage is on the decline, that's a statistical fact, but what do you think the root cause is? I know one thing that I think divorce is the number me. one cause. <laughs> divorce. <laughs> Gen but the gender. <laughs> general. Gender roles. Yeah, because I love the traditional marriage. I love being with my husband. He, I love he leaves me alone. I leave him alone. We work together. <laughs> But I love how we never see each other. Yeah, it's great. No. <laughs> exactly. No. We just rent the same Leave place. Me alone. But, why, but why aren't I allowed to mow the yard and clean the house? Right? Mm -hmm. Why do I have to do the dishes and cook the dinner while you do whatever you're doing? I mean, gender roles, women don't feel like gender roles anymore. We want to do what we want to do. We want to be the nurturing women we want to get to be, but not because you said we have to. I don't want to be in that role. So, too, yeah, so I that's, think that's I think that's a very you know it, it's an interesting thing to me because it's like getting it right but missing by just a degree, and that degree makes a big difference. Right. And 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 here's the here's the thing. There was a traditional kind of a, a concept of man does X, wife does right. X, right? And we march ahead. Hunter gatherer type thing. Right, 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 right. Exactly, right. And so somewhere there's a woman going. I'm actually a pretty dang good shot with a bow, right? Better than that dude. And, and, and right, right. <laughs> right. And, and then somewhere there's a dude going. I like to cook. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Where's that right. guy? Right. Where's that right. guy? I love to cook. I, I, I like that you guy. guy. I love to cook. Can you right? come cook for me? <laughs> I need some. So, so my point is, is that there's a, a general concept that works in for most people but in reality what happens is or what should happen is that there's a discussion that needs to take place and an agreement that leads to an equal job load for both people Absolutely. and the relationship but that doesn't right? normally happen it, I, equal, I, equal. Uh, does well, that you know, exist that's one thing i love about the church, I, it does the marriage counseling 
Yeah. It does. It does teach you that kind of stuff. It absolutely it does. does. It absolutely I mean, does. Do I, I, I do the dishes. I don't even like that when my wife does attempt the dishes because she loads all the dishwasher all wrong. <laughs> yeah. You see? I'm mean, like, there's a system to it. Right? There's a, there's a system. There's a system to it that you makes it faster cups, and easier. You put yes. The cups on top. Yeah. The big ones on bottom. Yeah. yeah look, I, I've got. I've got. All of my, I've got all my clear glasses on. So they're clean for the next, the next load. I'm <laughs> like, wait. I'm like, I can Did literally fit load? twice as much in one load. Load again. Yeah, I can fit it all in there. Oh, sorry. So, <laughs> okay, bye. So anyway, I'm like, I do that. I take care of the dishes. I take care of the floor. I take load. care of taking the trash out. <laughs> right? She does laundry. There's, so we I have this laundry. exchange of stuff. Oh my god, somebody do my laundry. I, I hate it. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you an example. I, 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 straight up, like <laughs> in, in talking it through, in talking it through, which is critical, she's like, I hate dishes. She goes, I hate doing dishes. I'm like, no problem, I'll do them, I don't mind. Right? I'm like... So she cooks, you do I, the dishes. It's a split, we both cook. So it just kind of depends on the night. Okay. But I get in the mood to cook, and I'll go home, and right. she comes home, and I've got dinner going. So yeah, yeah. Whatever. Um, but I'm like, we have pets, and I love pets, but I would be just as happy with no pets. <laughs> right? right? Pets and are like well, children. children. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I'm they're, like, they're little children. And I'm like, when the dog poops on the floor, I'm like, I didn't want this thing in the first place. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm not cleaning that. <laughs> Like, and I'm like, and I don't want to pick up its crap. Right? I don't expect you to pick up my crap. No, I don't want to pick up its crap. Right? And so I'm like, that's what I hate. I'm like, so if we want to have animals, I don't want to handle that. And she's like, okay, I'll do that. I got that. Okay. Right? That's that's the trade. Yeah. It's just talking through the job load and and coming up with something that's actually fair for both parties. And like, you know, the, the guy that says, well, the, the woman should do the cooking, cleaning, etc. I'm like, well, that's great if you're the one doing all the providing. Yeah, if you're actually, right. all of it, yeah, all of it. Right. Because now we're talking equal job like load. Yeah. If, if, you're, if you're gone all day, doing an eight hour day, and you're paying for everything, then it's fair to say the person spends eight hours a day at home. Absolutely. Eight hours a day taking care of the household. Like, that's an even trade. Here's my question yeah. to you. When I'm doing overtime, do they have to? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, but well, at, my at point, the end my of the day. My point to the problem, so. the root cause of, you know, of the marriage being on the decline would be because I can't support myself on eight hours a day. No. You can't. I mean, no, I, you can't. No, I can't. And I, I feel like there are people that can, but the majority of us are either looking at, okay, I'm like this close to just claiming welfare. <laughs> you know, like, like, uh, I'm paycheck to paycheck since yeah. I was 20. You know, it's 12 years of paycheck to paycheck, and I have been working 80 hour weeks, and don't you think I haven't worked a second day? Yeah. You know, like. No. Uh, no, yeah. uh, Simon. So, I want to hear from Simon yeah. over here. He's been quiet. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, why is marriage on the decline, Simon? I think it's on the decline because of the current culture we have. The like, culture? Yeah, because. Uh, now people are dressing more provocatively for the most part. We got people at younger yeah, ages. Yeah, Veronica. First of all, <laughs> <laughs> I said it. I just tagged it with you. First of all, yeah, it's, 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 oh, dang! <laughs> See, I said it first. I did. I, I, I didn't even catch it. I love you guys. I know. The terrible. beep zone is over there. Oh, jeez. I didn't it's know right. he was going to So the it. culture, they're dressing, people are dressing more provocatively. Not, not just women, though. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. provocative. No, yeah. Women are both, like, it's more of a. I know what you mean. Temptations out there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I know that's the lot for Can you get me a, another uh, <laughs> yes. off-camera video crew now? <laughs> Man, right. no, give me hats a, back there. Right? Dressing more comedy. provocatively. So, what does dressing Ooh. more provocatively have to do with the Pretty marriage on decline? Give it to it. Because the the body is like a sacred symbol, right? So in marriage, it's like it's part of the bond. Like there's those two body and soul. They're coming together, right, to make one union. Yeah. In sense, right? That's the way it was written. So, right. if you're showing off your assets, your little, so if you're showing all that off, then it just doesn't make it that special anymore. To you. To me. That's why I think. It's yeah, a bunch of people are doing it. It's all out there. Yeah, yeah I mean, so, so. Oh, 
I mean, like, look, I, I get, I, I've said this before, like, look, I'm, I'm male, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of the female form, and I, I've, I've said this forever, I'm like, only half joking, like, the first thing I want to do when I get to heaven is high five God on the, like, whole woman idea, I'm like, bang up job, man, I mean, like, top line, amazing work, right? Right. If I'm driving on the freeway, I don't want to see a 40-foot billboard of a woman uh, of a woman in her underwear. Like, what do you want to see? I don't want to see that. What do you want to see? I I don't want to deal with that. Because <laughs> yeah, anything but that, right? So my my point is is to say that look, is that not appealing to me? Of course it's appealing to me, right? But if I have any shred of I want to honor my wife, I want her to be special, and all that stuff, I am constantly constantly bombarded from every freaking direction with scantily clad women. That's just the, you, the society that we live in. do you not think that women are mm -hmm. equally as, as bombarded? <laughs> yeah. Of I course they are. Think that I want to see your right. search history. Of course they are. Of course they are. I'm, that, but that's what I'm saying to, And it to doesn't support. even matter. We could have a huge two-carat diamond ring on our Ooh. finger. Sorry. Oh, again with the beeps. Sorry, guys. Beep, beep, beep. But to, I was, and it I'm just saying that I, I totally agree. I'm just saying it to support his opinion of saying that culturally. But that's the whole right? reason you won't get married. No, I want to get married. I've you do want to get married. Relationship for like two and a half years now. Yeah. But in the future, I want to be ready. And she's very modest. Yeah. But so I mean, I, what's the point of being like in a that. relationship if it's a lot of work being loyal? Well, I'll tell you. I'll like, tell you. A lot it of work. Is. Why would you it, dump it, down the reward of being with somebody? That, and that's that's exactly to my point. Yeah. Uh, my point to supporting your point yeah. is to say that culturally we are inundated with just sex and sexuality yeah, and sex everything. Sells, right? Uh, sex. No, it does sell. Like, it it absolutely does. It works. It you, absolutely you, does. So you, I would I would go so far to say that they're taking. Uh, Marketers are taking advantage of our wiring. Prime, yeah, our wiring, yeah. our primal yeah. instincts. They're taking advantage of that and controlling populations with their yeah, their, their way to make money. I mean, and so, is that part of the decline? Is that part of the decline? I don't know. I think part of the decline is. I'm not going to blame it on men. Let's I can't. let's just say. <laughs> Loss of identity. The, the digital age, you know what I mean? Yeah, the digital age. The digital age, Absolutely. the accessibility, yeah. you know what I mean? I've as some soon people. as I'm done with you, I've got <laughs> a line. I've got a line. Yeah. Because of social media. Yeah. And that's we just what it Houston is. Too. Big city. You know, we, it's uh, a huge city. Same thing. We had a show, uh, it's been a long time, but we, we had a show that we did, and it was such a popular show. We actually did it three dating times. Dating in the Facebook world? Yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was dating in a social media world. That's yeah. Was, right? And a kind of a common thought that came up, a kind of a, a realization was that there is such a perceived idea of availability. Right. Right? In right. the past, There's your neighbor, right? Exactly. Your your neighbor lived like three miles away. You may see him at the uh, barn raising, right. you know that kind of thing, right? Uh, once a quarter. I see you but, four or five times a day. You know that? Right. On social media. Right. I do. Woo! Absolutely. Hey, that's and so everybody doing my job. Me, I'm doing the same thing. That right. I'm yeah. doing to my job. And so there's a there's a perception, a much greater perception of availability, and so people will drop out of a, a relationship. Uh, which we've all acknowledged when we were on break, we were talking about this, uh, that people will drop uh, at, at so much faster because it's a work. There, there's work involved in a relationship. And if we you already got to work too much. So and if you have a perception. No, there's so much work involved in it. And if you have a perception. It's worth it sometimes. Uh, yeah, absolutely. There is. Is it worth absolutely. No, absolutely. I've been married 31 years and it is. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Yeah. For the right person, it's worth it. When you start out dating, though, and you, you have the perception that there's a long line of availability, right? How much faster are you willing to drop this person? Oh, they were five minutes late to my date. They don't appreciate my time. 
or take take your pick of excuse. Right, right. Do right. you actually right. think like that? that uh, yeah, about availability? absolutely. So well, look, I, I had somebody think, call me for if I haven't if I've been asking you out for three weeks and I haven't we haven't scheduled something. Is that like the other fish twice, in the sea? Like, I'm gonna stop asking. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like look, I like if you're not available, like it's cool. Like I'm trying here, like. <laughs> it's true. You're, you might not even like me. People I don't know. Drop. You might just be being nice. And I'm not trying to push you. Uh, I just want to find someone I like. You know, he likes me back. So Right. People <laughs> people drop so much That's faster now. Three weeks, like three times. I, I've heard like, that. I've, I've heard it from so many people. Uh, sorry, guys. They'll, they'll, they're, there's like a <laughs> very high bar sorry. of what people expect. Mm -hmm. There is right a high front. bar. And you know what? It's, As I get and older, there's that okay. Bar gets and no, and there, that's okay that there's a high bar. Ladies, set that bar high. It's okay. Men, set it higher. Set it higher. <laughs> right. Set it high. I'm not going to Women, if I love you, that's it. I'm in. Y'all be bull. That's the problem. I've done that so many times, I just get burned. They no. They burn. They leave. Because they would take half my sh You know. I'm the same way. Like, like I'm. Sorry. I'm She's completely no loyal. I, I am so. Yeah. Yeah. No, when it comes to a relationship, <laughs> like I'm not even entertaining other people. You know what I mean? When it comes to a relationship, but uh, you know that's just not what the day. That's just not what it is these days. Ooh, so hot, I got the vapors. They're bringing the heat. Better stick around and see what's going to happen next. How much does it cost you to watch TV? The average household pays between $100 and $150 every month. Finally fed up with the rising cost of cable and satellite? Cut the cord and start watching the channels you want at a fraction of the cost. With IXQ TV, you'll have access to thousands of live TV channels including sports, movies, news, premium networks, kids channels, and even local channels for as low as $39 a month. Stream in HD on your TV, tablet, phone, or even computer with multiple devices streaming at the same time. IXQ TV requires no contracts or credit checks, no installation or cancellation fees, no bogus surcharges or hidden fees. $39 a month means $39 a month. Say goodbye to high cable bills forever. Visit MyCableBillStinks.com today. All right, so seven things going on here. Several reasons for marriage is on the side. We actually covered the first one, the issue of choice. Right? So availability. Availability. There's lots of choices out there. Right. Right? The sea is much bigger than it used to be. Yeah, at, at least yeah. it is in perception. It's yeah. not a fish. You can see a lot further. You can see, you can see, you can see a lot more of the fish. <laughs> it's the same. Hey, you, you know can me? see a lot more of the fish, which makes you believe you can catch a lot more of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Out here hungry. <laughs> Your chances of catching them still are probably about the same. <laughs> uh, right. Number two, the pressure of losing one's identity that comes with marriage. Absolutely, that is pressure for sure. Because uh, I, I gotta merge myself with you and your identity. Honestly, that's yeah, how it works, right? No, absolutely, bit, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I give a lot of myself up to that person. I think that gets it's more difficult sacrifice. with time. No, there, there. Like the sacrifice. older you get, the more difficult that gets. Uh, yeah, I mean to commit. Does and it then, though? You because you built your brand, so no, to speak. No, no, no. You're older. <laughs> absolutely. No, I completely agree with that. I, when I was younger, I was totally down to just look, jump into something. And this is us. That we're branding together, you know. Like, well, oh yeah. I would say. And now I'm like, wait, wait. You want to do something? Yeah. I, I, I would say, Get in line. and this is like a <laughs> funny, a funny flashback. Get in line, mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got so many beeps in this show. I would say it's early on. I would have you. to say that was the case because I look back. I'm like all of, I don't know, 23, and like. <laughs> Within just a matter of a couple months of Ooh. dating my now wife, like I made money and I just gave her my money. Uh, right? That's, and, the, that's the way to do it. But, yeah. but I'm that like, and, and, and we still laugh about it. Like years later, she she's like, I, why why do I why are you giving me this? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I made it. I don't have any bills. There you I go. love you. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> okay, I don't know what else to do with it. Right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I look back on it. Well, no, she still takes it all. 
it's, it's, it's at least a little more formal. It goes into a bank account. And I wanted <laughs> if anyone wants to give it to me. Give it, to me. Uh, it was <laughs> funny though. I'm like, I made cash and gave her the I'll give cash. It to you, right you know, back, so. you're smart too. I'll uh, give you some more. Uh, I'll send so you some nudes too. I can. Oh wow. <laughs> Woo! The dicks for good TV. <laughs> You know what I'm um, thinking about being in your inbox? Well, how about this one? How about this one? We've got a couple of ladies here on the show. Uh, working women. Uh, so they, working women. Seven reasons marriage is on the decline. <laughs> women are working. working women. Here's my favorite. Working it's kind women. of a joke uh, that I tell about, about my life. Because my Woo. husband is Hispanic, and please don't say anything about that. But I mean, I'm not getting into anything racial. But somebody said, it well, sounds like, like it, Lamar. I know. Okay. You brought it there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, so, so, I, so I was an accountant, and I had four children, and I came home, I cooked, I cleaned, I did all the dishes, I did all the laundry, I kept the job, mm -hmm. I raised all the kids, I paid all the bills, I did all that. And then I didn't do was mow, because he you mowed his own mowing. yard. No. I'm saying, oh, I don't okay. mind. I thought maybe mind you mowing. just picked the guy up because he, he and ain't I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I will not Somebody mow a yard. Job. Job. I thought, I thought that is kind of bad. Not what I, I will not do that. I didn't like their women to I'm work, and I was like, well, <laughs> well, you can. Hey, guys. Well, you can. Here's your point. As long as you can get everything else done, too. Yeah. Right? All right. Yeah. So, sure. I mean, I did Absolutely. everything. It, and, uh, it's just, it's harder these days to find a position that can afford you to have the time off. But I enjoyed that. I mean, I, I love to work. I am, I am I all about the work. work that too. just, yeah, it keeps me way off my head, out of my head. And like, Lenny. if you're going to pull me out <laughs> of what I like to do, hey, I, it better be for, for some fun. That's where I'm at. Like, with yeah, I love fun. Day. And so, like, well, and. And he's in this fine. day and day, yeah, and the, but this day and day, if you cause anybody any distress in your personal relationship, they're like, oh, like yeah. I, I, I took one day off this month, and you're gonna cause distress on me? Like, oh, I, I'll go hang out somewhere else. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of, it's kind of where like a whole world's at right now. So it's bad right now. To be yeah, like everybody has to have two jobs or their own home. Not for welfare. Simon, you've been I mean, No. <laughs> and I totally get that. I totally get that. I have work. I have Some of you guys are just choosing the wrong people. No, no, no. no. I have true. to work no. seven days a week. I don't think so. In order to make my ends meet. Baseline. You're right. In oh. order to make my ends meet. So it's like you gotta match that. Are you matching it? Wow. So <laughs> Thank you. we got to wrap up. We're taking it home. Another great show. Uh, I'm drunk Simon. <laughs> Simon, no followers. Simon, you, you're gonna drop some, uh, a track for us, man. Tell us what you're about to play and uh, where we can find it. Let's take it away. How's it going? This track is titled "La La Black Sheep." You can find it on all music streaming platforms and services. Shout out Maddox Studios, shout out AOD, shout out Joe and Chris. <laughs> I've lost my pride, baby. Do you have some despair? Maybe you do need a repair lately. I'm bruised and try to I woo, but I'm la la black sheep, la la black sheep. Finding myself in la la black sheep. La la black sheep, why are you so weird? Whoa, la la black sheep, la 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 black sheep. Walk into the room with you feeling like me. Real talk, I'm the only one feeling like me. So I'm looking for my J's or the flights. You know a way to book it to the really high heights. Thank you. Wanna take a moment, say thank you for all the poop lies and the strength you gave to me. Fell hard from the family tree. And I don't even know who my daddy be. Real I don't wanna get into. Think my mind done split it too. No, but does it compute? We a view. Tell me element, I'm an element, yeah. Dogs on the dog, so irrelevant. Everybody look away, yeah, they try to ignore. Lots of pain goes on when you love the and I love myself. Like I love myself and I hate you I've lost my pride, baby Do you have some despair? Maybe you do need a repair lately I'm bruised 
losing Try to white wool, but I'm la la black sheep La la black sheep Finding myself in la la black sheep La la black sheep Why are you so weird? Whoa, la la black sheep La la black sheep We're not so cynical, you are identical Don't be so difficult, don't be so difficult Smile is biblical, smile is biblical timing My name is Simon, it's solid How are you doing? Don't fit a shower for hours Are you bound to power by power or sadness? You make me proud of if you want your madness Those whispers gonna kill you and lead you to practice Why if you're like an outcast and I'm average That makes no sense with the two on retention Back on my float, it's so green, it's organic Found with a panic, it ain't at the disco The thoughts are reloaded, it's back in the pistol It's gonna bang in the morning and bang in my pencil What in the world do I say? People are starting to open and change People are wanting this weird or the same Do they see me as a sonic chain? Swear I got truth in the roots of my vein Spread through your brain this dopamine This devil inside of your body is probably Black as a wool that I wear with the jewels Thinking how I'm gonna keep the cool Cause I'm hot key as shit with the bulls I've lost my pride baby Do you have some to spare? Maybe you do Need a repair lately I'm bruising Try to act woo But I'm la la black sheep La la black sheep Finding myself in la la black sheep La la black sheep Why are you so weird? Whoa, la la black sheep La 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 black sheep Oh no La la black sheep Oh no why are you so weird, whoa, oh no, yeah La la bless she La la bless she Way to go. Another killer track on the Art of Dispute. What was that song called again? La La Black Sheep. La La Black Damn. Sheep. And where can where can uh, um, folks find it? Spotify, Apple Music, you name it, any one of those. Right on, right on. And on the Art of Dispute on our channel. Right. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. right on. Great job, man. Another killer show. We're out. How am I bad at clapping right now? <laughs>